Alright guys, so originally today I was going to do a video about Spider-Verse and why it's such a great film. But then something came up on the internet that I feel like I have to talk about. So I'll probably get that video about Spider-Verse next week now. Um, basically, someone leaked or found, rather, some pictures of what Sonic is apparently going to look like in the upcoming film. And they're, uh... Not great. I need to preface this video by saying that none of this is actually official. So all of it should be taken with a grain of salt. But these images were apparently discovered as part of a marketing style guide on the website of HC Associates, who do work on branding and packaging for various entertainment companies such as Disney and EA and others like that. The thing that makes me feel it may actually be legit is that there's a lot of typical marketing information that fakers wouldn't often think to include. So let's take a look at it. Oh dear. Okay, so the benefit is we actually get a look at what he may look like in the film. Unlike the incredibly dark poster they put out officially a little while ago. The downside is pretty much everything else. So he may end up looking a bit different in the final product, assuming this is legit. As this is only intended for use on promotional products and merchandise. But that's not enough real room to make this actually look good. Now part of the goal of doing a design like this is that they want it to stand out from what already exists. There's no point using a particular look for Sonic to promote the film if everybody who sees it thinks it's just from an upcoming game. This, however, is a masterclass in deviating so badly, it may as well be something new. Now, the internet is awash with fan interpretations, especially realistic versions of Sonic. And my thinking here is that if they wanted to try for realistic, it may have actually been better for them because at least then they would have had artistic license to soften the blow. This looks like it still wants to be Sonic, but other Sonic. The cartoonishness of it really hurts it the most for me, given that at the same time they found it necessary to give him fur. It just looks so strange, especially since we have Detective Pikachu to compare it to right now, which, in my opinion, manages to not only make him look more real with fur, it still looks like the Pikachu we know and love, but with that cartoon edge that doesn't quite look out of place in the world he's in. Sonic here just looks like a badly rendered knockoff. This is not great, particularly for any Sonic fans, and honestly, I'm glad I'm not one right now because I would be pretty upset. But not only is this not confirmed as official, even if it is, it could simply be a concept style and not what we are actually going to get in the final film. I would also like to call attention to this one particular piece of the star guide describing Sonic's personality. Now, I may not be an expert on Sonic, but I'm not sure I've ever heard anyone tell me that one of his main traits is how lickable he is. Although now I kind of expect the internet to prove that Sonic is the most lickable character to ever exist. Alright guys, so uh, let us know in the comments below what you think of this uh, new look for Sonic and uh, if you don't like it as much as I didn't, how about you send a little like our way and subscribe to the channel. You can find all sorts of awesome stuff and um, cool new videos and whatever and keep track of when this sort of stuff comes out. I'm going to try and talk about it essentially. Um, Alright, thanks guys and uh, you guys look after yourselves. I'm going to go find when I get there. I'm going to drop up my holy shit fuck. It's like, oh, yep. Yeah, okay, still got my fuel. Still got my fuel still there. Oh, oh fuck, I don't know what happened there, and I can't I can't turn my head that far apparently to have a look behind me, but it looked safe in the mirror, so I think I'm good.